Welcome to our schooly bathroom. First thing you'll notice when you come in is we have our towels on hooks here. We have these Nevia hooks that we love. They were super easy to use, put on, and work with. And then we have our World Market bath towels. I love this because I feel like it's subtle and it kind of brings in all the design of the space. Um, of course we have power. <laughs> and then right over here we just have like a hanging succulent area. And then right underneath the succulent garden we have our toilet paper roll which is totally a necessity when you are living in any type of space and have a bathroom. Um, and on top of that it kind of has this like built-in shelf so we put just like a nice fragrance diffuser there and um, yeah, I mean, it always smells fab in here, and it, and it totally has our beehive kind of theme on it, so that's super special. And then right underneath that, we of course have a trash can, which is important for, um, you know, toilet paper or anything that you need to toss and throw away. And then right behind there, we have our DIY compost toilet. So for those of you who have been around for a little while, you will have seen our DIY compost build. If you haven't already checked that out, we'll put a sticker tag here for you guys to watch that video. But we decided to build our own DIY compost toilet. So that way we could save about $800 because those jokers are expensive. And we did the Johnny compost kit and it works fantastic. So we have that stationed right here. Kind of have a cool little like British nod for Scott with the WC water closet right there. We also installed a little spray on the opposite side of the compost toilet. Since we are diverting our liquids into our gray tank underneath the bus, we wanted to have that easily accessible to spray things down just to keep everything clean. And it just makes sense. And above that is our Camplex tankless propane hot water heater. That heater heats up our water so fast. Yesterday we both just took showers in here for the very first time and it was amazing. And you can see how many gallons you've used, which is really great, especially when you're talking about water conservation and all that. So we love this. This has been a good choice already. And something else that Scott wanted to do is right behind the toilet where the WC sign is, we actually have that on a wooden magnetic slot. And so we can pull it out and have total access to our propane, hot water, cold water lines, all of that. We wanted to make sure that we could always access it if we needed to, um, just for safety and everything like that. Okay, and now to the other side of the bathroom, which we have our bright pop of color right here, which is super fun. And then on our windowsill, you'll see another succulent garden. We like the plants, what can we say? Plant mom and dad for life. We're not the best at keeping them alive, so that's why we did succulents. Um, but we have all of that right here, and we also decided to do a DIY frosted kind of glass look just to create some more privacy for us. Uh, it's great when you're in here during the daytime or nighttime. Our windows are heavily tinted on the outside during the daytime, but again, just for night, you have that while still having some natural light flowing in. And we actually did that with one of those spray can uh, frosted glass things. So you can pick those up at Home Depot, which is great. And then right next to the window, we have our vanity section. So we ordered this wallpaper from I Love Wallpaper UK. So I guess this whole bathroom is just like, thanks to the United Kingdom. Um, but we had to get it and I'm sure you guys can guess why you have these gorgeous little honeybees bumblebees on there uh, some little flowers on there and it just totally brought this whole space and the entire bus design together and we found our hanging mirror at Bed Bath & Beyond we got a great deal on that and then our floating vanity is perfect for this space so we're able to still fit our soap dispenser which we also found that at World Market but we got the floating vanity from Amazon and it wasn't that bad. It was really difficult trying to find a vanity that fit the dimensions and the depth that we needed. We could find ones narrow enough, um, but we couldn't find ones deep enough. And so we were super grateful to find this one on Amazon. The only thing that we did modify to this to kind of fit our vibe and aesthetic is we switched out the hardware because it came with chrome fittings and we obviously wanted to have kind of this matte black finishing throughout. And then before we leave this space, I just want to show you kind of how we've organized this space for us uh, to just utilize every inch and every square foot even of the vanity. So it gives us a great place to store all of our toiletries, all of our kind of go-to bathroom items, which is fantastic. And then my favorite part is actually a hidden drawer that we built in right underneath the vanity to store some of our extra compost material and all of our toilet paper. One thing that we really were thinking about is where are you going to store all your toilet paper? Where are we going to store 
store all of our cleaning supplies, all that stuff. So we built in this hidden drawer that pulls all the way out and nicely keeps all that tucked away. One more thing to show you is we have another Nebbia hook here for our hand towel on the opposite side of the vanity. With our flooring in here, we decided to go with a 100% waterproof vinyl flooring and we went with a black kind of speckly design. One other thing, we decided to get the Nebbia quick dry earth mat. It pretty much dries instantly and it is the coolest thing. And last but not least, the shower. So first up on the shower part of the tour is our sliding self-cleaning shower door that fits perfectly in this space. We found it on recpro.com and it absolutely fits the look, the design, and the size and dimensions of our space. So we really recommend that. And then moving on to the shower itself, we have our Nebbia here and we are obsessed with Nebbia. We had Nebbia in our house and this is the Nebbia Rainfall Quattro shower head and we love it. It has a mist spray, has the direct spray, but the best part about it is, is it conserves water like nobody's business. Basically, it conserves like 60% of water to what you would typically use. So my shower yesterday was just about two gallons of water usage, so it's fantastic. We also decided to install the Quattro Rainfall shower head on an extendable arm to make and capitalize the most use of the space of our skylight. So you'll notice throughout our entire build, anywhere where we're standing regularly, we built these high skylights that give us an extra eight inches and bring in tons of natural light. And we wanted to make the most of the shower head by being able to adjust it all the way up when it's like hair washing day or fully down if we're bathing the dogs or just don't want to get our hair wet. And we got all of our tile for this shower from Floor & Decor. It was located in Greensboro, North Carolina, so it was a little bit of a drive for us, but totally worth it because we got this gorgeous statement wall that completely brings in the entire aesthetic of our bathroom design. So this tile is actually cement tile. This was our first time ever working with cement tile and it was totally a process but way easier to cut than traditional tile and we really love how it brings in the entire design of this space and we decided to do a built-in ledge here just for extra bottles or razors or whatever we wanted to put here. And then behind me in the majority of the tile is our marble gold fleck uh, subway style tile. We also decided to put in a bench in our shower just so if we want this to be like a steam room or you need a break, you need a breather, whatever. We have the bench there and it has that honeycomb hexagon plain white style tile on it. And this bench is actually also housing that secret drawer where we put our compost and toilet paper. So it's multifunctional. It's great, comfortable, and it helps house our entire drawer. And then the other two tiles that we picked out were hexagon honeycomb style tiles because of course we love that. And the one on the floor has that kind of blue flowery design and the one on the bench is a plain white. We decided to install another ledge on the window in here, again do the frosted glass, and then another great space saving thing that we decided to do is we ordered these things from Amazon um, that just store our shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and continue to make the space nice and bright and clean and airy.